Welcome back and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at three of the most widely available and affordable electronic shooting earmuffs on the market today. First up, we're going to be taking a look at the Howard Lights. These are the Impact Sports. We're going to take a look at Walker's Razor shooting muffs as well. And then we're going to take a look at the Underdog. This is a brand called Fire Gear. They sell on Amazon.com. As soon as I got all three of these, I knew I was gonna have to head out to the range to get to know each of them personally. And so I went ahead, spent a lot of time with each of them to try and figure out what were the things that I liked, the things that I didn't like, and really just figure out what my recommendation of the three headphones would be for you guys. So let's go ahead and head out to the range right now. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and run through some rounds. We're just gonna act like it's a normal day at the range. We'll be swapping between headphones with each of the guns that we shoot. Uh, I'm gonna start with some smaller guns. We're gonna start with some 22s. We'll do some rifles, some handguns, uh, and then we'll start working our way up to nine mil. We got a shotgun here, and then we have something even a little bit more powerful. We're just gonna run through it. We're gonna go into the montage now. Now that we're back in the studio, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna break things down into three categories. We're gonna talk about the aesthetics, the functionality, and the comfort of each of these sets of hearing protection. And then I'm gonna give you my overall recommendation. First up, aesthetics. This is probably the least important thing that we're going to talk about today, and it really comes down to personal preference, what you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how I felt about each, and then you can make a decision based on that. Let's talk about the Howard Lights. Now, if you've been around shooting or guns for long, you've probably seen these. Uh, it's a very classic design. They come most commonly in this earthy or army green. Now, the thing I don't really like about the design, aesthetically speaking, is how plasticky they look. If you see here, there's uh, this outer shell has kind of a glossy look to it, and it kind of makes it pretty apparent that you're looking at plastic. And in my opinion, it makes them look just a little bit cheaper than the other two pair. The other thing, and this may be weird, the other thing that I didn't like a lot about it is on one side you have this big black battery cover and on the other side you don't and it's just all green. And so as far as symmetry goes, when I look at them, I'm kind of bothered by the fact that one side has a ton of black on it and the other side doesn't have that. Um, and so that bothered me a little bit. The band is covered in vinyl and then it's stamped with the Howard Light logo as you can see there. One final thing maybe to mention is this Oxport where you can plug in and listen to music, stands out on the side there. Now we're gonna talk about the walkers and the fire gear together because they are strikingly similar. As you can see, fire gear has definitely patterned their design after the walker design, and it's a design that I really like. If you take a look, you can see that the plastic uh, outer is kind of covered or coated in a almost rubbery but softer feeling matte plastic and what that does is it takes some of the sheen off of it and it makes it look less plasticky uh, and just a little better in my opinion the design overall i would say is a slightly more aggressive styling um, and that's something that i like these come in a lot of different colors i really like just the classic sleek look of the black you also have the patches on either side of the headband these are customizable so if you're into that sort of thing you can really customize the customize these to be the way that you like them the band is covered in a durable fabric and then printed across the top is either the 
walkers or the fire gear logo. So for the aesthetics, I'm definitely going to give the win to both the walkers and the fire gear in a tie as they are almost identical and it's a design that I like. Moving along, let's talk about the functionality of each of these, starting with the Howard lights. The Impact Sports have an advertised 22 decibel noise reduction level, and they did pretty good for me out of the range. The only problem I had with these is that the clamping force of the cups isn't evenly distributed, at least not on my head. When I put them on, they're a little bit top heavy on the clamp force and bottom light. And that caused some issues for me because sometimes when I had a cheek weld on a rifle, any sort of uh, pressure on the bottom side of that cup kind of created a gap along my jawline and it had some sound leak. And so uh, when firing rifles every once in a while, I'd catch some of the sound of the rifle coming through the bottom of the, of the, uh, of the muff and it made it a little uncomfortable. It wasn't super common, but it happened multiple times. And so for me, that was a big L on the Howard Lights uh, functionality. Another thing that we should talk about when we're talking about the functionality of these is how they work electronically. If you're unfamiliar with electronic earmuffs, the way that it works is they basically amplify outside noises so that you can hear people talking, you can hear what you're doing with your hands. Um, but then when you fire a rifle, it either reduces or cuts the noise that's being fed into the speakers to keep your ears safe. Wearing electronic ear protection can be disorienting if they don't do a good job of handling the left and the right signals uh, and output into your ears. Because if you hear something and you have kind of a mono setup, you won't know where it's coming from. So if somebody's talking off to your right, you may look left to try and see who's talking to you uh, and find out that there's nobody there at all. So the way that they handle that is important. The Howard lights uh, have a very aggressive way about doing that, in my opinion. Um, when you can definitely tell where somebody is at when they're talking to you or where a sound is coming from because they route things very strongly to one side or the other. Overall, they did a good job for the most part. The big failure for me uh, was the, the uneven distribution of the cup pressure. That may not be a problem for you with your head shape, but it was a problem certainly for me. Now let's talk about the fire gear. The fire gear have an advertised noise reduction of 23 decibels, which is just one more than the Howard lights. You would think that would be pretty negligible, but because of the issue with the clamp force of the impact sports, uh, these did a much better job for me than the Howard lights did. The clamping force on these was very evenly distributed, so I didn't have any noise leaks at any time. They did a very good job of cutting out the sound for even my louder guns, my shotguns, my 4570, and the like. The fire gear muffs handle the input and output of the stereo signal a lot differently than the Howard lights. They had a much more natural sound. The way that I tested this was I closed my eyes, I put on each pair of earmuffs, and then I would have my wife snap or clap around my head. And I'd tell her with my eyes closed where the sound was coming from. With the Howard lights, like I said before, it was very obvious which side it was coming from. However, it wasn't as natural sounding in that it would route everything to one side or the other, which when a sound was in front or behind me, it made it a little more difficult to tell where it was coming from. The fire gear had a much more natural way of going about this. If you close your eyes and snap on the left side of your head, you hear it mostly in your left ear, but you also hear it in your right ear, and you hear the echo of that sound bouncing off the walls or the environment and hitting your right ear, and the fire gear replicated that nicely. Uh, you, could, you could hear sounds in both ears. It would be louder in the one, quieter in the other, and it helped me to locate where sound was coming from. So uh, overall, as far as functionality goes, the fire gear did an excellent job. I really liked how they handled the stereo input and output. And the final thing to talk about is how they handled the cutting out of sound. The Howard lights had kind of a way of just reducing noise when it came in so that it wasn't over amplified. The fire gear cuts out noise entirely. The electronic input is, or output is just cut out when there's a loud noise. And I kind of liked that because it takes away the fear of perhaps catching the uh, beginning or tail end of the report of a rifle and actually hurting your ears. And so I really liked that about the fire gear. We haven't talked at all about the walkers yet. They're very similar to the fire gear in a lot of ways. They did a great job handling the noise of all of my rifles. They too have a noise reduction rating of 23 decibels. And so they felt in most ways very, very similar to the fire gear. Now, the only thing that differed is 
how it handled stereo audio, and then how it handled the amplification and cutting out of louder noises. So with the left-right signals, these were kind of a middle ground between the Howard lights and the fire gear. They were more natural than the Howard lights, but they weren't quite as natural sounding as the fire gear. And so really it may come down to personal preference, um, but I think I still preferred the fire gear in the way that the left-right worked on those. Uh, the way that these cut out sound is a little more similar to the Impact Sports as well, uh, where they don't cut sound out completely, but they reduce the volume of the sound coming in. And so when you fire that rifle or that pistol, whatever it is that you're firing, um, it reduces the amplification that's coming through the headphones and then brings it back up after the report of the, ri the rifle is over. Um, and, and in that way, it keeps it hearing safe. Overall, for this category of functionality, I think I'm going to have to give it to the fire gear because I really liked how it handled the left and right stereo noises. And I like that it cuts out completely when you're firing a rifle because when I used it and when my wife used it especially, it always made us a little bit nervous wearing the others, still being able to hear the gunshot coming through the speakers of the headphones, even though that noise was reduced. Finally, we are going to talk about comfort, starting once again with the Howard lights. Unfortunately, the Howard lights were my least favorite in the way of comfort as well for a couple of big reasons. First of all, this band is uh, pretty much unpadded. If there's any padding in there, it's almost imperceptible. They may have a tiny layer of foam, but really I can't tell. Really, I think it's just covered in vinyl and then it goes straight to that metal or plastic headband, um, which after a time became uncomfortable. It started to press on my head. I started to actually get a headache when I wore these for a long period of time. So that was a big loss for me there. Also, I had an issue with the padding on the cups. The padding on the cups is kind of dense and kind of thin. And so it wasn't as comfortable over a long period of time. It also meant that the cups weren't quite as deep. And so my ear would rub up against the inside of the muff. And that was uncomfortable for me as well. It also retained more heat. I found that my ears were getting kind of hot in these, uh, while with the other two, that wasn't an issue. So like I said, for me, the Howard lights, I didn't really love in the way of comfort. I'm gonna talk about the walkers and the fire gear together again, because uh, as the design would suggest, they are very, very similar in the way of comfort as well. Each is padded really well uh, up here at the at the band and so it made it a lot more comfortable wearing over a long period of time the cups are both softer thicker and uh, as a result deeper so that it was more comfortable around my ears especially when wear when wearing eye protection the eye protection with the impact sports by howard light pretty uncomfortable because that padding would max out and it would end up pressing into my head where my ear protection was at the pads on the walker and the fire gear were much thicker and so they were able to kind of move around the hearing protection, keep a seal, keep the sound out uh, without pressing too hard into my head and pressing my glasses into the side of my head and so that was much appreciated. Now there is one area in which the two of these differs, although they are very similar. The fire gear, the shape of the band is very similar to the shape of the band of the Howard lights. You can tell that there's kind of an angle uh, up at the top there where the walkers are more of a round, uh, kind of uh, traditional, if you think of just like headphones over the ear headphones, uh, kind of a round shape. And so this is strange, but what I found between the two of these is that I preferred wearing the fire gear when I was wearing my cap. When I wasn't wearing my baseball cap, I would switch out to the walkers. The walkers seemed to be more comfortable to me without any sort of hat on. But then when I put my hat on, for whatever reason, I liked the shape of the fire gear better and they felt better over a long period of time. So in the comfort category, once again, it is going to be a tie between the walker and the fire gears. So what's the final verdict then? When choosing between Impact Sport by Howard Light, Razor by Walkers or Fire Gear, I recommend that you give the underdog fire gear a chance. I love a good underdog story, but these earned their spot at the top of the list. They carried all of the benefits of the walkers. They also carried a couple of additional benefits that I liked. We talked about those. The left-right stereo noise was fantastic. I loved the natural sound. Because of how natural it was, I was happy to leave these on for longer periods of time. I also really like how they cut out noise completely when you're firing your guns. You never have to worry about getting an over-amplified sound in your ear and blowing out an eardrum or just being uncomfortable. And so I really, really liked these a lot. And I think 
being the least expensive option on the list as well makes them very much worth your time. I love finding things that are uh, that strike that excellent balance between value and functionality, and I think these do a great job of that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer, and I will see you next time.